everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. It's our final two days on Royal Caribbean's Utopia of the Seas, and their goal today is to have a thrilling day on the pool deck. I'm going to ride the water slides while Kitra ziplines over the ship. We'll explore some of the bars and lounges around the ship, but the thing that we've been most excited to experience on Utopia of the Seas is Royal Railway. This is a brand new immersive dining show that takes place in a train car riding through the wild, wild west. It comes complete with themed food and drinks and a story that evolves over the course of the dinner. But is it good? Let's find out. Come with us on this adventure. Well, we got something here. The Royal Railway cordially invites you to the Utopia Station for your 8.30 p.m. departure <laughs> on the Wild Wild West train stop. Wait, I thought we were on a cruise ship. Now Yours? we're going on a train? And look at this. Is this our ticket? It looks like it. And it says <laughs> the ticket is to the Wild West. I feel like I didn't bring the right outfit. I should have brought like cowboy boots. I know. Look at that. We each get a ticket. That's cool. How cool is that? So I'm not sure if any of that made sense to you guys, but there is a new restaurant on this cruise ship. It's called the Royal Railway. And it basically takes place in a train car that feels like it's moving through the Old West. And we're going to the restaurant tonight. We were able to get reservations. It was very hard to get, but thankfully our friends Random Recess got us in and we're gonna be sitting with them at dinner. I'm so excited. <sighs> Tuesday already. So for me, I love themed and immersive experiences. Oh, that's our floor. And you know that I love themed and immersive experiences and it's the first time Royal has doing anything like this, so I'm so excited. For lunch today, we came to the Park Cafe to grab a quick bite to eat, but first, coffee. I love the coffee setup in here because they have like these kegs full of coffee and milk and you just put your hand over it and it magically comes out. Isn't that cool? Magic. So of course they got some grab and go items like fresh fruit, pre-made sandwiches, but I don't think that's why people come here for the most part. I mean, I get some, some of the watermelon. I like the watermelon. I think most people actually come here for the Royal Kummelwick sandwich, which is what I'm gonna get today. And they also have a drink section for water and also fruit punch, lemonade, orange juice, and strawberry kiwi juice. So it looks like they also have some other freshly made hot sandwiches, like a Cuban, a Chipotle chicken. They also have a small variety of desserts as well. But I think a lot of people also come here to create their own salads because they have like a salad station. So I decided to get myself a salad and I got pretty much almost everything on it except for tuna and onions. So I got the works and then I decided to get some Thousand Island dressing. I usually like ranch, but I was just in the mood for something a little bit different. I will say they, they made it look very beautiful. They put a lot of dressing on there. So I'm sure if you don't want this much dressing, you could just ask them and they probably won't load it on there. By the way, every, everything looks better when it's in Central Park. Right? You know, it feels so good in here right now. Like there's a nice breeze. It's, it's like nice and quiet. We're just waking up. We had like a late start this morning and I'm, I'm vibing with Central Park right now. This is hitting the spot right now. And you know what? Since I customized it myself, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I think I did a great job. But I also got the famous sandwich. And doesn't it look delicious? It looks so good. Yeah, that bun also makes it though. It's like so buttery. This is hands down the reason why you come to this place. You have to get one or two of these. They're like so good. I can't even describe it. All the flavors just mix so well together. And there's a reason why they put this on like all of these type of Royal Caribbean ships because it's a cult classic. Just saying. We love it. I'm happy we finally came over here to get it. I think we've already given this the Ordinary Adventure Star in the yeah, past. Say, if we didn't, then we're doing it right now. Ordinary Adventure Star. And I decided to get the egg salad sandwich. I don't expect this to be as good as the ones in 7-Eleven in Japan, but I saw it and I was like, ooh, I want one of those. You love a good egg salad sandwich. I think what really makes it is the soft ciabatta bread. It almost makes me feel like I'm eating a Panera bread. It's like one of those things that you do a drive-by. You know, you come down the elevator, you do a drive-by, take out, and you go back up to your room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I give it a four out of five, Peters. And I also want to say that I got some fruit. I got some watermelon slices and also some cantaloupe slices as well. And I also got the strawberry kiwi infused water. I thought it was juice at first, but it's infused water. Actually, maybe it is juice. It's nice, though. I like it. I just want to say, nothing quite wakes you up in the morning like a 
big bite of horseradish. Gets straight in the like the nostrils, straight down your throat. Whew. I'm awake now. I love when the horseradish like gets into your nostrils and mm -hmm. you're just like. Yeah, it always takes me by surprise. <laughs> it takes me by surprise, but then I go in for a second bite and I'm like, more. Love it. Oh my God, look at this. They actually have a chess game here you can play. Can you play it? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, I wow. don't know how to play chess. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> if it was checkers, I would win. No, I would definitely win, sorry. So we're in Nassau today, but we're not getting off the ship. And I'm on the Royal Promenade walking through it. And it looks like they're setting up for the Effectors Homecoming Parade. It looks like it's like a Royal Caribbean version of Marvel where they have different superhero characters. I've never seen this before, but I will say that the parade floats that they're setting up look pretty massive. So maybe we'll have to check this out in just a bit. And it's funny because like you have this whole huge, whole huge cruise ship with so much to do, but you end up in the same little corners because you find like the spaces that you that you like and to hang out with your friends. So I, I'm finding myself back at the pesky parrot, which by the way, I'm not sure if I've shown this yet. They have these pesky parrot characters all on the ceiling here, right in front of the pesky parrot. It's very easy to miss, but I, I like how these sculptures look. They make a good cocktail here, but they also have a bunch of machines to make frozen cocktails. So I decided to get one of those. I got the pain chiller, because it's their take on the pain killer, which I think is like rum and cream of coconut and orange. So it's so very similar, but I like that they have like the spices on top here. It's creamy, it's fruity, has that cinnamon on top, so it gives a little bit of tiny bit of spice. I like this quite a bit. I think this is like a four and a half out of five, Peter. By the way, we're here on like a port day, so people are off the ship in Nassau. This place is usually like packed. So not only is it our place that we've come and come back to many times, it seems to be like a popular thing for everybody. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Pesky Parrot migrate to other Royal Caribbean ships. See what I said there? Migrate. I, get, I heard. Get it? I get it. And the drink that I'm going to try today is the Queen's Park Swizzle, and this is rum, lime juice, agave, and mint. First impressions, it's beautiful. I love like all the different colors, and it has like the good ice. Ooh, oh my god, it's strong. Woo! strong in a good way. It's their take on a mojito, and I gotta say, it's really good. It might be one of my new go-tos here. I think it's funny that this is like, probably, we haven't like gone to like any of the other bars on the ship. It's like, we just keep coming back here because the vibes are so good and we love tiki drinks. This gets a five out of five. So good, especially if you like mojitos, try it out. So we're just in here waiting for the parade and I, I'm reading the description and it says, everyone's favorite original superheroes are back. Supervillain Crash has been safely captured and imprisoned in the bad guy super jail. And our heroes are celebrated in a spectacular homecoming parade. Come join the Wonderville townsfolk and enjoy the festivities. And don't worry about a thing, Crash is locked up. Or is he? The bad guy super jail. <laughs> so good. I can't wait. Oh no, what happened? What happened? The screensaver ran out and it went back to just like the default screen and now we're back in paradise again. How much can one parrot drink? Um, I'm stumped. I don't know. I don't even have a good guess. Not as much as two can. Uh, <laughs> get it? You get it? Because well, two can? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's not wrong. I did not get it. I bet. See, two can is a type of bird huh? and two is a number. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're shape and drink all of your booze. Roll up. Yes, I do. Next round's on you. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the parade, I decided to drop into Sorrento's, which many people say is the best pizza at sea. And I used to honestly like not like it, but on Icon, there was many of nights, late nights, that I went there and grabbed myself a slice. And it definitely sold me on Sorrento's. It's like, is it good land pizza? No. Is it good pizza at sea after you've had a couple drinks? Yes. It's the spot.
of a parade and more like a show. It was so unhinged, weird, fun. Funny. I love that like the bad guys, like they got in trouble because they didn't watch their safety video and they had to like go to guest services and they said that their jail was the slow rising rising tide bar, which is what yeah. we're about to do right now. And like all the superheroes were, were like copies of like the Marvel Avengers. Yeah, there was one that like literally looked like the Hulk, kind of. Yeah, but I like so that our, our dog Pixel is a social influencer. Yeah. If Gizmo was here, he would be the bad guy. Yeah, sure. he'd be locked up for sure. Yeah. But yeah, that was so cute. I love the little dragons. I just love that like all the singers were actually singing and I think it was all the same performers that we saw last night at the All In production. I think this is all the entertainment cast yeah. coming together for the show. That only happens on four day sailing. So if you come in here for the, the weekend sailing, you won't see the spray. I wish Royal could pay the money for like an actual IP. Like if they had DC or Marvel yeah. here, obviously they can't do Marvel. Yeah, well, if they had DC here, that would be so cool with Batman and stuff. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe yeah, I like I like all the made up superheroes for <laughs> what were they called? The accelerators or something? Something like yeah. that. So next we decided to grab a drink on the Rising Tides bar. And what this is is a levitating bar that goes from the promenade up until Central Park. And they have like a little bar on here with specialty cocktails. And you could sit down and just enjoy the slow ride up to the top. I think they said it's like seven minutes from the bottom to the top. And we decided to grab ourselves some drinks. I'm gonna try the desert pear margarita. This is tequila, desert pear syrup, and lime juice. It's so pretty. I love like desert pear anything. This is so good. It's a nice margarita. You could taste the tequila. It's not too sweet. It's just like the right hint of like fruity flavor in there and I love the black salt rim it makes it just a little bit salty I'll give it a five out of five it's good and I got myself the rum old-fashioned this has Bacardi rum coconut syrup and bitters so our friend Kevin would hate this but you know what? bitters has a time and a place and that place is on the rising tide bar this is not a typical old-fashioned it's a little bit sweeter yeah it has rum in it yeah not quite as bold I like it. I'd give it like a four to five meters. So because this goes so slow, it's kind of hard to see it move. So we did a time lapse, so it'll look faster than it actually is. In a blink of an eye, you're all the way up here. Today is the day that I'm gonna conquer the zip line. I've actually done this once before on a different Royal Caribbean ship a few years ago. And one of the only reasons that I'm gonna do it again is because I think now they offer like a video of your experience. Cause you're not allowed to bring like a GoPro or anything on it. So for an upcharge, I think you could buy a video of like your face when you are screaming going on the zip line. So we're, that's literally the only reason I'm doing it again today. I'm trying not to cry and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You got this. You got this. I wish you could do it cause you're like actually very excited for it. I know, I wish I could do it. But you'll be able to do it next time we go on one of these ships. I wish I was excited. <laughs> I see like all these little kids doing it and like, they're all so brave. I'm really bummed because I wanted to do the zip line on the ship and I told myself I was gonna lose the weight and get under the weight limit. And when I got on the ship, I was 276. The weight limit's 275, so obviously they won't let me do it. Kitra's gonna do it, but she's like really nervous now. Like she was like gung-ho about it because she heard that they're doing the, the camera thing. But now that she's gotten here, she's like, having kind of a panic attack. I feel bad for her. I, I, I tried to tell her not to do it, but it looks like she's still gonna do it. And she's gonna do it with our friend Chris. I wish I could trade places with her. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd do anything I could if I to trade places with her. Let my hands slip off the... Oh, Warby, you can help me out. Okay, thanks. I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Uh, it was terrifying every second of the way for me. What were you thinking about like when you were like stepping down on the steps? When I was stepping down, I was just praying that it would hold all my weight. And then I didn't know if I had to jump out or if I would just start going. And they were just like, okay, sit down. And they kept telling me to sit down. And I was like, what? And then it just happened. And then I just blacked out until I got to the other side. And we just got our video back and it's... <laughs> you could see the fear in my face. You said you hit your head or something? Yeah, I hit my head at the end. So when you come in, the reason why they give you a helmet, I think is because if you're going too quickly, you could like hit your head on the thing. It didn't hurt or anything, but that's why the helmet's there. Yeah, your video is so good. You're like so terrified. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's funny now, but <laughs> at the time it was scary. It's funny, like Chris went before you and like he looks like he's having so much fun. No. Oh, granted, I had already done it once, so I knew what to expect. The first time I went, I didn't look at the camera at all, so Kitra's is really good. Thanks. Thanks. So this is the first ship that Royal Caribbean is doing that camera on the zip line. Hopefully they bring it out to more ships. They first did it on Crown's Edge, on the Icon of the Seas. My only complaint is I wish the camera was like more wide angle, so it would capture more of the surroundings. Because like you're way up there, you want to see like, that you're like, way over the boardwalk. We'd like to thank Rocket Money for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I don't know about you, but I recently checked the subscriptions on my phone and I was shocked at how many things I'm paying for each month that I totally forgot about. So there's this random photo app that I've been paying $5 a month for that I haven't even used in almost a year. It's embarrassing. Thankfully, Rocket Money is here to help with that and so much more. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower your bills, and manage your money better. So for instance, with unwanted subscriptions, I used Rocket Money to identify reoccurring charges and cancel the subscriptions for me. So it can do the work for you with just a couple taps within the app. No need to worry about calling customer service and being on hold and having to talk to someone and they're trying to convince you not to cancel. Uh, it does everything for you. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year when they use all the features with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions alone. So to save more and spend less, join over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com ordinary or click on the link in the description below to get started for free. You can also unlock more features with premium. That's Rocket rocketmoney.com slash ordinary to get started for free. Thanks to Rocket Money, and now back to our adventure. We decided after zip lining, we'd head over to El Loco Fresh. It's on the pool deck right at the exit of the zip line, so it was very easy and convenient. This is like a quick serve Mexican restaurant. You can get whatever you want. You can make your own tacos. They have their own tortillas. They have enchiladas. They have a whole toppings bar, so you can put whatever you want on it. And I should mention that their tortillas are made fresh in the house. You can actually see the machine there that makes them. But this is actually one of the best quick serve options here on this ship. And we always love it. And right next to El Loco Fresh is Cantina Fresca. This is where you can get all your margaritas from your fancy to your just like classic margaritas. I decided to get myself the strawberry margarita and I got it frozen because it is hot out here today. So I wanted it frozen. By the way, they have straws here. They're biodegradable, but they're not paper. So thumbs up to Rail for that because we, we do not like paper straws, especially with frozen drinks. That's a good margarita. Yes. <laughs> Right now we're gonna to head to the pool deck and have some fun in the water and experience some of the water slides. On this ship, there's three water slides. So that's about half what was on Icon. And I'm gonna to try to do, I don't know what it's called, but I like to call it the toilet bowl. You go down and then you end up in a bowl and then you, you get flushed out. Kitra faced her fears with the zip line and now I'm gonna face my fears of being flushed out in the toilet. So it turns out I couldn't go on the toilet bowl slide I don't know why I thought I could. We, we did on another ship, 
but I did go on one of the racing slides. I went on Cyclone, this is the blue slide right here, and you race against the person in the yellow slide, which I think is called Typhoon, and it goes pretty fast, and it has these cool, clear sections where you can see out to the ship, and I think Ketcher caught me in slow motion going over it. <laughs> I'd give this slide a four out of five Peters, and it was, it, very, I'm very wet. So on Utopia of the Seas, the pool deck is like one huge party. And we kind of avoided it because we want to like stay away from the loud noise. But the one place I wanted to go is this hot tub because I just think it looks so cool and you can like see into it. That's a big kid. To me, it's kind of cool. Yeah, and we finally went in it and we're like the only ones in it, so it's nice. I think like a lot of people are might be getting ready for dinner. Yeah. Not us, we don't have dinner until 9 p.m. <laughs> We decided to head on over to the view bar this evening because we really wanted to watch the sunset with a nice drink in our hand. Turns out, plot twist, the sunset's actually on the other side of the ship this evening. But the, the whole pitch of this bar is you can watch the sunset with panoramic views. It is really nice though. This bar's like usually always empty and right now the weather is like perfect. There's like a nice breeze. It's very chill out here. I like it a lot. But yeah, we'll have to chug these and then go see the sunset on the other side. The drink that I got is the perfect view and it has pink gin, Campari, orange juice, strawberry mix, and sparkling wine. And it is so pretty. My guess is it's supposed to look like the sunset, right? Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> so this one isn't my favorite. It's not that sweet. And you can really taste the com Campari and the gin, two things that I don't love. But I do like the strawberry and the sparkling wine. That kind of balances it a little. But I don't, personally for me, I don't think I'd get it again. I'd probably give it like a two and a half out of five. But this was one of the only like signature drinks that they had here, so I had to get it. And it is very pretty looking. Cheers to Cheers. a beautiful view. I stole a bed joke. <laughs> so the restaurant we're going tonight, you don't have to dress up, but we brought some like button up shirts and uh, pants and stuff like that. And I brought the pants that I wore on Icon, which was only a few months ago, right? I didn't get new pants since Icon, and I, I probably should have got more new pants. <sighs> For this trip because this is uh, a little uh a little crazy yeah right? they don't really fit you anymore no so i lost enough weight that this is crazy. proud of you but why didn't you try them off before we know. came on the trip i don't know what I, uh, i'm gonna do because these pants are like comically huge okay so i was able to get the pants on they come up to like here and uh looks okay this shirt is now probably two sizes too big for me, but I guess I'll have to do it for tonight. Welcome to Utopia Station now. Yeah? Thank Come on you. In. Get yourself something Thank to you. This is already so cool. Right outside of the restaurant, there's this giant, like, thing that you would find in a train station where it shows you the times of the trains coming in, and our name was actually on there. And then I got to walk in and you could actually see the train cars. And they have like a little reception before the actual dinner. And I was looking on the wall and it looks like there's some bandits that are have a pretty high reward. Hopefully we don't encounter them. He said it's an elixir, a moonshine elixir. Oh, this is so cool. Apple pie or something? I don't know what he said. Also, I found a duck. <laughs> this is dangerous. It tastes like a liquid apple pie. Wow, you gotta try it. Almost like an apple cider or something. Oh yeah. It's good. Really good. I decided I'm gonna put my duck right up here. Kind of blends in with the wall. Watch your step as you make your way across the platform. 
This is so cool. So we're on a cruise ship. We're about to get into a train. It's gonna go to the wild, wild west. It's kind of confusing, but I, I love it in Royal Caribbean. We need more of this. It's already so immersive. Excuse me. Coming through, huh? No smoking, please. Okay, no smoking. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is he just carrying a bunch of dynamite? Yeah. Why are they bringing dynamite on our train? Chris, what is going on here? Stop the dynamite. Everything will be fine. Just no smoking, please. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and board you all. What do you think? Are you ready to get on the train? All right, here we go. Now board in part 35 to Grand Junction. Run this way. What about you, my dear? Table number one, I believe. Oh, first table to the left. Okay, first table to the left. On our sailing, this experience is $75, includes all the food you want. But there is a drink menu that costs extra, and I'm looking at the drink menu right now, and everything looks very good. Like, there's a sarsaparilla, old-fashioned, and there's also a cherry bourbon and cola. So here's a look at the menu. It's pretty cool because it actually is a map of all the places that we're going on our journey. So that's pretty neat. Hopefully this, we get to keep this at the end because this would be a really cool souvenir. And then I love on the back here this cute little safety information. It's so good. <laughs> don't talk to the robbers. If you see a bear, play dead. Hopefully we don't see any bears. Or maybe we, I actually do want to see a bear. Hopefully we do see a bear. So you know how I'm always like looking for sharks when we're on a cruise? I want to see a bear. <laughs> also, if you see Tom Foolery, say hello for us. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking. This is just already so good already. Like the experience hasn't even started, and it just—I already forgot that I was on a cruise ship. I swear you can't even feel the ship in here for some reason. It's probably just all in my mind, but I love it. Because we're not on a ship. Yeah. But once the train starts moving, then we'll probably feel it, right? Probably. <laughs> we get a bread service, and then we each get to choose an appetizer. We each get to choose an entree, and then there's, of course, dessert. Some of these options look really interesting, like fart and dirt, big beans. I love the detail on the napkin here. It almost has like a little gold bar holding it together. I'm gonna pocket that, use it in the casino later. If we know bandits come aboard looking for gold bars. They're never gonna find it. Royal Railway, I'm your conductor. Please do me a favor and have your tickets out for when I come around. Thank you so much. If you don't have a ticket, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop off. <laughs> well, you can ask, but the problem here is I'm the conductor of this here train. As a matter of fact, I, let me see your ticket. I don't have one. Uh -huh. Because I'm the conductor. Are you calling me a liar? Hey, I know you. You are Rowdy Yates from the Wild Bunch game. Yeah, that's right. I recognize your face from all them wanted posters. Hey, listen, lady. I'm just looking for a locked case. Hey, don't move. Now there is a marshal right in that car. Yeah, don't you do nothing crazy. Marshal! Oh, like that. Marshal! Get out of my way. All right. Get the heck out of here. Exactly. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say smooth sailing? Easy there. <laughs> Easy there with a metaphor in Jeremiah. You know right well we're not on a boat. <laughs> this guy, right? Oh my god, I felt it really. Oh, you can feel it moving. Oh my god, that's what so the heck? <laughs> I'm sure that lockbox is safe right over there. Uh -huh. Sit back, relax, enjoy the tunes and the scenery. And if you don't know what you want to eat, you can look out to the clouds for inspiration. Oh. Welcome to the Royal Railway. Yay. Wow. <laughs> what an introduction. Oh my god. The music that they're playing, like it's like duh. it's like an old-time western. my cocktail I got the Pisco Sour and it is so beautiful. Howdy folks, this is your head engineer Jeremiah. Oh, watch your window to the right. <laughs> the wildlife can be pretty unpredictable. It kind of tastes like 
a margarita or something that's very like frothy and smooth as it goes down, a little bit sour, a little bit tart. Delicious, five out of five. Who was it? A lot of the drinks were like bourbon or whiskey, which isn't really my thing, so I'm glad I got this one. And I ended up getting a sarsaparilla old fashioned. And you know, in the Old West, they drink sarsaparilla. It's kind of like a root beer of some kind. I'm a connoisseur of old fashioned, so I had to try this out. It is root beer old fashioned. This is very good. Probably the best old fashioned I've had on the ship. I'll give it a five out of five. Wow. By the way, a bed got a drink called the Gold Brush. It has a bullet going into the glass. Wow. Oh, into the glass? Oh my gosh. Yeah, right there. It's really good. How cool is that? Yeah. Super cool. We've already gone past Durango and now we're like in like the middle of the West. We're uncivilized. I, you can tell that it is computer generated. But the screens are actually pretty well done. It's a shame that this isn't open all day long, because I feel like I would just like to come in here and just like get some drinks and stuff and just hang out in here. And the seat really does have like a butt kicker kind of like face <laughs> system in it. No, that's what they call it. They call it a butt kicker, where it kind of vibrates and it really does feel like you're on a train. It's kind of crazy. So there's a bunch of horses outside and it looks like, I'm trying to figure out where we're, we are on the, the map. We're almost a Stampede Flats, I think, maybe going by Heifer Ranch. I love that we could look at this map and like kind of see where we're going and it kind of tells us some of the stuff that we might see out the window. So they came around with a mouge bouche, which is kind of like a pre-appetizer kind of thing. Yeah, except they called it a mouge cow bouche. <laughs> it, it's, he, and he said it's shaped like a cowboy hat. Yeah. And it, it's like barbecue chicken on top of, I'm guessing it's like a potato chip. Let's try it. Very flavorful. There's actually some corn on there, some barbecue sauce. This is a delightful start to this adventure. Mm. Delicious, thank you. I don't know what this cowboy hat is, but it's good. I just want to introduce you to someone real important to me. It is, it's my pet rattlesnake, oh. Gumslinger. Oh. Yeah. Gumslinger, but don't worry, she lost her face a while back, so I call her Gummy for short. <laughs> Oh no, did she escape? Oh no. Oh my god. Where did a jump slinger go? Oh my god. There's a snake loose on it. Did you just touch me with your leg? No. Yes, you did. I, I didn't. Yes, you did. I, t I totally didn't. No, I didn't. Did you really not? No, I didn't. You didn't. I didn't touch you. Jump slinger! Well, something touched my leg. <laughs> Chris, I'm touching your leg. I haven't felt anything. There's separation. We got separation. Ooh, y'all are a lucky bunch. The American buffalo only make this crossing every 200 years. Yep, you're just in time for the bison tenio. <laughs> bison tenio. I cracked my up. Yes, sir. That's the way it is out here. You never know what might cross the path and when. And I ought to know. My whole family's been out here since before I was born. In my daddy was head engineer of the very first rail in this county. That's right. He's the one that trained me. <laughs> Here, Alvaro, your order of a foot fungus removal cream has been delivered. Please pick it up at your earliest convenience from Pete's Peculiar Provisions in the Grand Junction. Christopher Sawyer, <laughs> have a great trip to the Grand Junction. I know you love them, but please don't order the beans. <laughs> Take us a store and you know how you get. <laughs> Christopher Sawyer, right here. Raise your hand. Good thing I didn't order the Easy with the beans, huh? No. Yeah. Bon appetit. They just came in here with like a handful of telegrams that they read out loud to embarrass people. They basically told Chris that he shouldn't be ordering the beans. Did you order the beans? I didn't order the beans. Thank goodness. I knew. I, you know how I get. Yeah, we well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just fun that they come in here and they like embarrass people. Uh, Speaking of beans. Uh, <laughs> and I know the telegram said for Chris not to eat the fart and dart beans, but you know, it, I ordered them because <laughs> I wanted to try the fart and dart beans, okay? The presentation of this is awesome. 
the can even says fart and dart beans on it. Now, we ain't far from Coyote Creek, but that's bandit territory. It says something's happened to the sure engine. I see any other way around. We'll, uh, we'll make this as quick as we can. Okay, better eat these beans quick. Oh, dear. Uh, everyone, please stay inside the train. We don't want any more uninvited oh, great. guests. Great. Oh, no. nope. Here it is, everyone. Welcome to beautiful Coyote Creek. Well, sit tight. We'll be out of here right quick. I'll get to work on this engine. It's uh, it's like my Grammy always said. We'll be out of here right quick. I'll get to work on this engine. This is so good. It's like a hearty chili with that beans and pork. And then the bread is actually really good, too. This is way better than I was expecting. It's like an upscale chili. And you know what? The fact that it's called fart and dart beans, you know that it gets a five. <laughs> fart and dart beans! The bean that's been put in the wild in the wild west since 1801. Fart and dart. The more you eat, the more you love them. <laughs> so for my appetizer, I got Soapy Smith's corn chowder. This is blended sweet corn and cream topped with salsa verde and spiced chili oil served with a crispy dusted crackers. This corn chowder is so good and so savory. It has a little bit of spice. It might be the best corn chowder I've ever had. Wow. And I like these like little crackers. You put them in there, it gives them a little bit of crunch. Five out of five meters. There's like noises on the ceiling like somebody's climbing up there. I'm sure everything's fine. It's a lot nicer riding in here than on the roof. Uh, oh, my, my brother Rowdy, well, he said to get on the train, but, uh, well, I'm guessing maybe he meant in the train. <laughs> hey, where is Rowdy, by the way? He's supposed to be impersonating some conductor so he can snag some marshal's case, but um, I never got the signal that he got it. Well, kind of like that one. No, he didn't. Actually, he did. You know, he did. And he said he was going far away with it. And he was going to bury it. What? Yeah. Really? Isn't that, isn't that what he said? Yeah. 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 That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the plan. <laughs> Not sitting over right Man's there. Bill. Can't be losing your map now. Right. <laughs> oh no! Looks like we're all in seats. Um, you know we do have some available right in the next car. Oh sure, I don't mind yeah. right through here. <gasps> oh dear! Look at your wrists. What's wrong with them? You don't have any cufflinks. Does Cuff anyone have a spare set of cuffs? Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you. You see, that's the formal car with the hot falutin passengers. I wouldn't want you under dress, so I'm gonna let you borrow these. <laughs> well, this really is one classy establishment. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, y'all have a good ride now. Oh, thanks. Oh, and uh, well, be careful. There are robbers in these parts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should be fine. Uh, everything will be fine. Oh, yeah. Don't okay. worry about the lights. We'll get them fixed. Right? You're okay there, right? Wait. You hear that? Can't see anything out there. Sandstorm's clear. Hey, you had a scoop? You okay? It's all like, you know what? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, okay, we're moving again. Almost lost the pad. Turns out Rowdy was right. I'm not really the conductor. The name is Winnie Money. And I'm the U.S. Marshal. Oh! oh. $30,000 or something. That is so funny. I wonder the, the bandits want it. This is so much fun, but there's so much going on that like you barely have a chance to eat. Like I feel like they need another hour to this experience to like give you time to eat while there's not story going on. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cute. 
Thank you. Wow. <laughs> what, did, what did you get? So I got the lobster salad because I figured, you know, it sounded good. But I didn't realize it was going to be so fancy. It has like gold flakes on it. And it has like little petite little cuts of lobster. This is so cute. Look at it. Wow. The fanciest lobster salad I've ever seen. After those farting dirt and beans, I gotta say, this is a nice, refreshing palate cleanser. The lobster is some of the best lobster I've ever had. The gold flakes just give it even more flavor, I'm telling myself that. And then it has a nice, like, citrus salad on the side with some avocado. Another five out of five. What do you get? So for my meal, I got the braised short ribs, and that was a recommendation from our server. It comes with a side of a potato. It looks fantastic. Everything is so plated so well. Ooh, waterfall. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Is that a bullet? Yeah, I think there's a gang coming after us. Oh, we're going over a bridge. Oh, look at that. It just fell right off the bone. Didn't even need. Uh oh, we're trapped on the bridge. So apparently we're trapped on the bridge right now, but I'm gonna try this short rib. Our server said that this potato is 50% butter, 50% potato. I believe it. This whole thing, five out of five features. It's incredible. Incredible. I'm trying to eat fast before they take my food away. <laughs> Faster. Yeah, he came over and we all thought he was trying to take our food away. Yeah, he was just trying to pour me a glass or some more water and ask how our meal was. And I was like, I only had one lobster. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start covering our food. We're on the wrong track. Oh no. Uh, this is the rail to last chance mud. No one ever goes down there. Jeremiah, answer me. Je uh that, that, that is bad, Bill. Okay, he's here. Don't panic. Salutations! I see you. Pardon the, uh, interruption. I got a question for you, uh. Are all U.S. Marshals as foolish as you? You're just lucky I couldn't find my snake. Snake? Hey, on this train? Yeah, that's right. A huge rattler oh, somewhere God. around this oh, bar with your name. I heard the rattle. Maybe, maybe not. Give me that key. Stanker! Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, uh, I'm gonna go untie that guy up and tie this guy up and get him out of here and just. I hope I didn't have one. Oh my gosh, bad Bill! What is that? <laughs> All right, folks. I'm gonna get somebody to clear off these plates. Thanks again. I don't see a way through. Oh no. The whole exit's blocked off by rocks. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, no. We got dynamite on board. Just a hard place. Do you think they're going to use the dynamite? Well, to everybody, I'm awfully sorry about this. I wish I had some explosive idea to get us out of here. <laughs> For dessert, I got myself the Royal Railway Cigar, and this is a hand rolled milk chocolate cigar stuffed with sweet cream, served with house made Dolce de Leche ice cream, and has like a little sheriff thing that's all sparkly and glittery. And I love that on the cigar, it even has like the Royal Railway logo on there, which is like a nice touch. It's a little bit cold. It almost kind of reminds me of like an ice cream bar, like a Mickey bar, but I know it's just cream on the inside. It has a little bit of a crunch to it. Oh my God, not too chocolatey. This is the perfect way to end this. Everything has been so good. It's been so fun. All the food has been delicious. Another five out of five for me. You can say every day, right? Yeah, Don't worry, yeah, okay? Yeah. Everybody be careful with their cigars. Four shows a day, actually, okay? Ooh. How was your dessert? Everybody enjoying it? I love my job. <laughs> that was amazing. That was great. For my dessert, I got the Denver Gold Bar. This has layers of vanilla cake, coconut and sweet raspberry jam topped with gold flakes in Moscato rhubarb sorbet. Very soft, very sweet. I will say, honestly, this is probably the first thing that didn't blow me away. It's good, it's just not great. I mean, the presentation of it's fantastic, but it's just like maybe not my taste. We're ready for the countdown, I said. What do you mean you already lit it? Oh Everyone, God. brace yourselves!
that experience. I love the immersion. I love the storytelling. I love the actors. The food good. was so, so good. So good. If I have only one criticism, it is that like if so much is happening. I wish like we had a little bit more time. Like in between the story moments, we had time to eat. Like, I always felt like we were a little bit rushed. We're also filming. Yeah. But like I saw even the people that weren't filming felt like they were rushed. So. Yeah, but highly, highly recommend if you can somehow get into it. It's super limited. Yeah. Like I think it only holds what, like 25 people or something in there? Like yeah. it's very small. Each train holds 24 people. They have two trains and they have two servings a night. So that means about 100 people a night. And so on a three night sailing, that's 300 people and the ship holds like 5,000 people. 6,000 yeah. something, yeah. So I just feel very fortunate that we were able to go. All thanks to our friends Random Recess, they let us tag along with them and I'm forever grateful because this is something that like we're really, really hoping we could do and it, it exceeded my expectations. Like it was so much fun. Absolutely loved it. The, all the actors were so fun and funny. It was just such a great experience. And I heard the rumors that they might be doing a Halloween or Christmas version of this. Oh my god, that would be so cool. And I think they might be doing like eventually doing wine tastings where you're like driving through Napa on the train oh while you're just sipping wine. I would love that. Yeah. We just came back to our room and this is the cutest towel animal I've ever seen. It's a mouse. Look at him. That does it for our trip on Utopia of the Seas. If you want to see us on the biggest cruise ship in the world, Icon of the Seas, <laughs> we'll put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Russ and Serenity, MW and Jay. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.